Okay, first new project since uh, winter got here. Uh, spring is hopefully right around the corner. I've got uh, two new tires for the back of the truck, so I can go ahead and get rid of the old uh, well, 31 inch 1050-15s. Uh, the Dodge axles don't necessarily like the 15 inch wheels. I had to put spacers behind the front to be able to clear the brake calipers, uh, spacers being a stack of washers on each of the studs to uh, space things out like was able to go ahead and move the truck around. Uh, since then I've gone ahead and put uh, stock 16 inch wheels on the front with some takeoff tires, uh, 235, 85 R16s, they fit, uh, they roll, they are not completely trashed and uh, th they'll get the job done for now. And the meanwhile, I picked up two brand new tires for the back. So like I said, I can go ahead and finally go ahead and get rid of the old uh, 15 inch tires. And this is what we've got. These are Thunderer um, 235 85 R16 mud treads. And let's go out and move the 57. care. Guess what I've got going on. Okay. Well, fan's alive. It's my shiny new radiator in the box. used up when I got them but they hold air for the most part although this one obviously has a slow leak it likes to go ahead and settle out right about that point but this this will be a nice nice replacement well there we have it the new tires and wheels are mounted up on the back of the 57 they actually tucked in a little bit tighter with the uh, factory Dodge wheels over the Ford wheels And with the 32 inch tall tire on the back, it uh, pretty much levels the truck now. So I don't have that uh, ridiculous bro dozer rake, front end high, back end low, squatting. Uh, truck sits, uh, looks like it's nice and level now, which is what I really wanted. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna go ahead and devise a way to go ahead and mount up some vintage center caps uh, for Chevy wheels to fit this and uh, got a few other plans come springtime. So here we go.